Hi, everybody. It's Father Joshua with Storytime with Father Joshua. Today, I'm in a very special place. I know last week I was in Jerusalem, which was also really exciting. But today, I'm up in outer space. Took a spaceship from Cape Canaveral because I wanted to see the whole world behind us because that's going to be important for today's story. Now, today's story is called The Great Commission, and it comes again from our Spark Story Bible. Are you ready? Good. Let's begin. Jesus went to see the disciples after he had been raised from the dead. They buzzed with excitement. Is that you, Jesus? We're so glad to see you. Do you want something to eat? I wish everybody would say that when I stopped by. Jesus smiled. Peace be with you, he said. I have things to tell you. The disciples gathered close around Jesus, eager to listen to him. Jesus began, God has given me all the power in heaven and on earth. The disciples looked at each other and began chattering again. Whoa! Wonderful! We knew it! Fantastic! What will you do first? Wait, Jesus said. There's more. The disciples listened closely. Go everywhere in the world and teach people about me. And remember, I will always be with you. Jesus returned to heaven. The happy disciples soon began the work Jesus had told them to do. The end. Wasn't that a good story? I gotta get my book from floating, but I want you to look again, see if you can find the caterpillar in the picture of Jesus and his disciples. So I wanted us to be able to see the whole world for today's story. Now last week, my family and I sat outside and we got the computer all set up and we watched as two astronauts shot off on a rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida and came all the way up to space, to the International Space Station. And this is what they get to see every day when they wake up. They can see the whole world in their window. Isn't that cool? Now, if you look, that's an awfully big world, isn't it? Well, and what Jesus asks us to do in the Great Commission is to go out and tell everybody in the world about him, about how much he loves them and how much we love them too. That's an awfully big job, isn't it? But don't worry, we don't have to do it alone. I get to do it, you get to do it, everybody gets to do it. We can all do it together. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, it's gonna be easy. So that's your task for today. I want you to go and tell somebody how much Jesus loves them. Why? Because Jesus loves you too, and so do I. So until next time, my... F oh, oh, I think there's an alien on the ship. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's just my nephew, Lucas. We have a stowaway on the spaceship. Well, until next time, my friends, peace. Thank you.